Okay, so we are back with In With An E Season 3, Episode 5. Wow, that's crazy. Halfway through, I believe? Last episode was a return to form. I'm liking where it's going. I'm interested to see where it goes from here. Again, the reason I do this is literally the comments. I wouldn't do it if no one commented. So if you like these, let me know. Comment down below. Comment your favorite part of this episode, this reaction. Any questions, comments, concerns that you would like to share. Also, I do have a Patreon, which will be linked in the description down below, where you can watch full, unedited, watch-along versions of Anne with an E with me and the rest of my catalog at some point. I am focusing on posting Anne with an E, and you'll get those earlier than the YouTube edits as well. So if that interests you, definitely check that out. This is my look for today. Very kind of, yeah, old-timey-esque. I know the shoulders are scandalous. Um, and I don't think hats, like, like, bandana type hat things like this were invented. Um, but let's just say they were. Let's just say they were, because they fit the vibe. My braids, that's what we got going on for today. So, I really don't have much else to say, so let's just get into In With An E Season 3, Episode 5. Oh, that was Gilbert? Why did I think that was Winnie? Oh, <laughs> Bree is aware of its boundaries. Classic. Thank you. <laughs> Birds and bees. <laughs> the bee collects She's like, y'all are to feed the hive horny little bees. menaces. Stop. The lesson will be illuminating all the same. Oh, were they actually supposed to learn about the birds and the bees? And Miss Stacy's like, girl, I'll teach you about birds and bees. Which oh, <laughs> We love Moody. He's. <gasps> That's a bad injury. And Moody. Oh, wowza. How clumsy can one boy be? You know? Okay, Dr. Gilbert. Dr. Blythe. Ruby. All right, uh, everyone, let's move on. Yeah, the pain tolerance is probably a little different so within these two Hello. communities. It's for pain? Oh my gosh, Gilbert could learn from them. How on earth? This man fell off a little stone. No sickness. How on earth? Oh my god, that is such a deep and horrific cut. Oh. I don't want to see this. No, thank you. Oof. Don't be, don't be showing me all that. You can only hope that she is well and happy. Forgive me. not in any of the medical textbooks that I read. And the medicine It's woman? more like ancient wisdom, wisdom right? Like holistic pain. methods. Why can't we use nature to be on the winning side of medicine? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Aww. What else there is? I love seeing know. him this fired up, hey. and I love that Bash loves seeing him this fired up. <laughs> what? What is this episode? Bones cracking and... Legs being split open and fainting and... I can't do it. I must admit, I'm finding this daily routine rather strenuous. Yeah, I mean, they are on the older side. Bash needs a wife. A wife? But he's still grieving. Tell him to start looking. Me? Trust me, Marilla. We'll all be better. He, I don't know that he's going to want to hear that. Because the thing is also, he was brought into this, like, system and society kind of semi-involuntarily so like him conforming to those customs of like mm, well it doesn't matter if you don't love her you should have a wife just to help your housework and you're raising your child my family they did. yeah yeah of course go on thank you <laughs> it's nice to know where jerry's going like to have that image in my mind of all those sweet babies and his, <laughs> and his parents Makes me feel a little bit better when he's leaving the Cuthberts. I think I Charlie, who couldn't stop looking at you earlier? Fiddlesticks. 
I'd enjoy the lesson today. <laughs> sure. Like mother, like daughter. She literally, she's Marilla Jr. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Um, I, I was open at beer in time. In time. That's why you wanted to leave early. I I can go home now, Diana. He's like. That's what you prefer. No, read between the lines, Jerry. I'd prefer that we continue. I mean, actually, kind of like reverse words from him because she just he just like made her admit that. Good morning, Anne. Busy story. <laughs> okay, I'm not mad at. So, Anne, are you gonna dance with Charlie tomorrow? Am I what? A dance? He scheduled practice for the county fair barn dance for all of us. <laughs> that means touching. Dancing's for girls. But at least there's touching. <laughs> I'm going to hate practicing with these. Well, what is your place in this matter? Is it to cook and clean for hours and hours? Only She's to got run a home point. And do it all over again. And surely there must be another way. So I just what, what I have been saying. Okay. Rachel, that is quite enough. This is important, Marilla. I care for you deeply, Beth. They both have points. But this arrangement, fond as it is, cannot be sustained. Find yourself a wife, or Delphine must be placed out. When tragedy strikes, such as yours, and you cannot care for a child. You best consider matrimony, dear boy. Right quick. Maybe harsh reality of this time, unfortunately. There's some truth to it. Uh, I just remembered. I'm to accompany Minnie Mae in her music lessons, so I really mm. must go. Sure, oh, wait, sure you are. If anybody saw us here, we'd be in grave trouble. She loves she... it. <laughs> we shall be monsters, cut off from all the world. But on that account, we shall be more attached to one another. Okay. <laughs> sure. It's really, Aww. really good. I thought he was pulling that out of nowhere. I was like, mm, okay. Mary brought everything to life. So true. I'd like to write an obituary for Mary in the Gazette. She should have her legacy honored. I was talking with Anne and she felt it would be something for Deli to hold on to. Very sweet. Big doings. <laughs> such a dad. See how the fool? It is such a is dad that? thing to say and such a dad way to say it. Like, what? <laughs> it's almost time. Needs a set of six. I thought we better do so. Oh, you remember. Right, John. Yes. <laughs> and set and turn with both hands. And set. Not her avoiding eye contact with him at all costs, and then just looking at his dad like. Give your left to form another set. Okay, a little more subtlety, my guy, would be good for you right now. I wonder who's gonna get paired up together. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, other way, other way, other way, two, three, four. You guys, love you. It's it is not this hard. They were literally just jumping in a circle. Stop, stop, stop! That was a start. What if I'm pregnant? My mother said. Lazic! Who's the mother? <laughs> how could you let this happen? Girls, girls. But there was so much touching. That's not how it works. It's not uh, topical. Is that clear? Good. Oops. I'm afraid to dance. You don't have to. You may sit this out if you wish. She's like, as long as I don't have to explain sex to you. Like, what am I to do or say? It's delightful. Drink on true. This is amazing. <laughs> You guys, you guys don't like each other? Sure. Sure you don't. Okay, but when you touch, things go in slow motion? To gentle, intimate piano ballads? Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hello, is anyone home? It's, you're finally, okay. Oh, Charlie. Afternoon, Anne. 
She was hoping it was Gilbert. I, I know she was. Him. He's kind of cute. Don't say that. He seems sweet. And you're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it. Did you enjoy the dance practice? No, I didn't. <laughs> I think you enjoyed it a little too much for your liking. Instead of participating in that frippery. She's giving very Marilla this episode. I worry for you is all. Worry for me? Why? You think so much and you're very emotional. It might damage your ability to have children in the future. I don't understand. An overly active mind causes women to be barren. I don't know what my future holds, but I expected to have all the <laughs> options. Is there medical evidence? No. I have no idea. You should not take what a boy says seriously. Dancing isn't my preferred way to spend an afternoon. You guys are so in denial and delusion. It used to be cute, and now it's just like, come on. If I feel something, for a girl. Does that mean that she's the one that I should marry? Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> Attraction, yes, it's important. Love, that's what truly matters. And love is bigger than those feelings you're talking about. No, but he is talking about love, Bash. But period, this is good advice. And I love this moment, and thank you for giving it to me. You can tell her, she won't talk. It should be pretty easy to figure out, guys. I don't I don't know why everyone is like, hmm, I can't see this very obvious thing that's right in front of me. And also, the reason why he would be hesitant to tell you is because you know her, right? I mean, more likely. There's less to lose if it's just someone Sebastian doesn't even know. Hello, Dana. Jerry. <laughs> what, what book is that? Uh, sorry, would you excuse us? Diana. Oh. Of course. Does that mean? I could, I could cry. I think you made quite the impression when you stayed for supper. Oh, she <laughs> must belong to you. Y'all are cute. Uh... Y'all are sweet. There's no touching. <laughs> this is this is why you have to be more specific. Although I don't know if it's I guess within her jurisdiction to say. She'd probably be like burnt at the stake if she explained what sex is. Is it true that women of emotion are? doomed to be infertile. Is that how reproduction works? <clears throat> There's nothing I've seen in my medical experience that would lead me to believe that. Is that all? <laughs> the stats. <laughs> Ask him. <laughs> this is hysterical. Mary Lacroix was born on a winter's day in 1865. Oh. As those who knew her well can attest, presence was felt like an endless summer okay you didn't have to do me like this you didn't have to do me like this show which was a sense of justice for she was as generous in spirit as she was with her cinnamon sugar glaze constantly rebutting a lack of sweetness in this world her life was not short on challenges and still she held no grudges even instead that race is perennial like the green green grass oh my god mary is just I mean, fully, healing the world, bringing people together, enough, bringing couples together, defying uh, conventions, Welcome healing society's ills. That's your mama. Oh, baby. It's That's so fucking cute. It's just, it's ridiculous. It shouldn't be allowed. I'm so ashamed we declined her invitations. I mean, so yeah, ashamed. I, you should be. Perhaps we can bring some ease to their situation now, somehow. What about those marvelous apples of theirs? We could include them in our export. Don't you think they'd love them in England? 
Absolutely. I do indeed. Sacred Mother Queen of May. May Wild Queen? Lady of the Woods. Our heavenly bodies belong solely to us. Period. Choose whom to love and with whom to share trust. Yep. Walk upon this earth with grace and respect. Mm -hmm. Take pride in our great intellect. For sure. Honor our emotions so our spirits may soar. Yes, ma'am. Should any man belittle us, we'll, we'll show him the door. Absolutely. Our spirits are unbreakable, our imaginations free. Walk with us, God, and so blessed are we. I love to see it. <laughs> How I love being a woman. That's where this comes from. Ruby? Ruby Gillis says that? The amount of times I quote that in my life, I mean, to be honest, I mostly quote it when bad things are happening because I'm a woman and I'm like, I love being a woman. But I did not know that. Oh my God. But also it's a great quote for when you love being a woman. It's a great quote for womanhood, the whole experience, the whole spectrum. I cannot believe that's Ruby. That's crazy. How many times have I heard that sound? That is so crazy. I think I've used it in videos. Ugh. I'm so sorry, that was so mean. Very cute and sweet and wholesome, but... Oh my god. How's that a baby? That came out of Belle. Okay, so that was a good episode. It felt very much like a transition episode, like... And I mean, it makes sense it is the midpoint where it kind of feels like they're putting it into certain storylines and just starting up new storylines that I assume will be carried over into the rest of the season. Yeah, but I mean, it was wholesome. It was everything that there is to love about this show was in this episode. Hilarity, hijinks, feminism, discussions of societal expectations adolescence, growing up, education, relationships of all kinds. Like, it just it just covered, like, so many bases. The medical field. That, how did Moody manage to hurt himself that badly in the woods? Truly. Truly. Like, yes, there's bad things in the woods, but I don't- <laughs> I don't know if there's something that could dig that deep. Like, what, a stick? He fell hard enough on a stick that it made that implant? Okay. I like how Diana's parents are being factored into the story now, for sure. It's it's one of those things, I, I like seeing Diana's parents because they are some of the more like complicated characters, I guess, in terms of like how I feel towards them. I've gone up and down on them. And I think, you know, but like I, I landed in the place where I was like, no, I think they're good. They're like overall good people. And I think this is, you know, showing it. And I'm glad that she was able to have, you know, remorse and regret at not accepting Mary's invitation and, you know, that they want to do something to rectify that, which we love to see because obviously, based on what Marilla and Rachel are saying, it's it's a struggle and it's going to get even worse as, like, seasons change and the farming requirements change. And already they're, like, spread very thin, even with a lot of help. So... Whatever way that they could help, which, I mean, primarily for them and their family, it would be likely in a financial way. Them helping, I'm very relieved to see and hear that happening. And it, it is the right thing to do, but it's also, it's also a good thing. You know what I mean? Like, they don't have to do that, technically. They could not, they, they don't have to help him. But the fact that they want to, again, I think points to, like, the there's really good humanity, like, deep down. And I think that for most all of these characters, uh, even Rachel, who I think is controversial sometimes and really misses the mark sometimes and really says and does some things that I do not like, I think that is a product of a lot of her upbringing, her socialization, and you can tell. But underneath, there's just, like, a core of, like, really good people. Most everyone in the show are just, like, really good people. I liked all the references to Mary. Everything with Mary this episode was great because it felt very much, like, acknowledging her and honoring her while also moving on. It's not being stuck in the past or stuck kind of 
worshipping her or mourning her, grieving her. It's like, a, it's a celebration, which is a point you want to end up at eventually, where it's like you've done the bulk of your grief and sadness over losing the person, and you get to a point where there is that, of course, sadness and grief and a measurable loss. But at the same time, you're able to talk about that person. You're able to think about that person. You're able to honor that person. You're able to live your own life. You're able to do what she would have wanted and, and carry her legacy through. And, you know, there's just, I think they did that in a lot of different ways this episode and showed, like, Gilbert and, I mean, Marilla and even Rachel and Bash and with Delphine, especially, all doing that, all kind of carrying the torch a little bit more. And of course, it's like still sad. I still teared up. But there is a, you know, there is a good sense of, of hope and community and love and and healing. That's, it, it feels like healing, uh, which, period, absolutely, love to see. It. But I love, I love that it's neither this nor that. Like, it's, it's both at the same time. It doesn't have to be that they're, you know, he's sobbing every two seconds. But it also doesn't have to be that he's totally moved on and doesn't think about Mary. You know, it's there's somewhere in the middle that those things kind of meet and that's where it is. And I think that's a more truthful depiction probably of that experience. And especially for these types of people. The dancing, everything with the sex, birds and bees, hilarious. I mean, delightful. I have to chuckle. It is really funny. <laughs> it's really funny to see. Um, it's also sad in some, like, any, well, I guess they're pretty young, though. But there is something, you know, as much as I love Bridgerton as well, there's something about the women literally not knowing what sex is that makes me feel bad <laughs> inside. I, d I don't feel good about that. I don't like it. Uh, it just is like, ooh, I don't know. Um, but I do understand that, like, societally, th that is what was in place and that like women were not supposed to talk or think or know about that. And of course, like Miss Stacy's in an uncomfortable position because she wants to educate them. She wants to be honest, but at the same time, it's not really her place. And she is already like outside of the conventions of their society to begin with. Some things are clicking. <laughs> Finally having some realizations and I'm just excited to see where that leads us. Like, I'm like, okay, where do we go from here? And yeah, it just brought back a lot of nostalgia, like thinking of that age, like kind of middle school dances and crushes and like, it just, <laughs> just all that stuff. It's just, it's so particular and specific and it evokes such a singular kind of like experience that is somehow universal for everyone. And I think they did a good job of that. I like that Gilbert was kind of the person that they were going to. I don't know how much he knows, although he literally was like elbow deep in that woman, which is, I remember that reaction. I laughed so hard when that happened because I was like, oh, I was like, okay, I, I <laughs> okay, he's, he's, he knows a little bit more than I uh, thought, um, which I guess like him, I guess he had said he had delivered babies on the farm of like his animals. That makes sense. That like practical real world understanding and knowledge of it. Diane and Jerry are cute. They're, it's an interesting thing. There's a lot of different dynamics. There's, you know, a little bit of a class difference that they've hinted to in there, that being an issue. Diana's personality, they're, they're just very different, but they, it, they work and they have cute moments. But then like Diana's like trying to cover up and then Jerry gets all sad and I was like, but then he finds the little handkerchief and like, so it, it's it's interesting. It is an interesting dynamic that they have and the kind of like sneaking around and like, let's walk together, but not. And like, she's upset when she thinks he isn't there and then he's waiting there with a book and Frankenstein and like, you know, all these types of things. It's, it's, it's sweet, it's cute. And it's interesting. It's much more interesting than Diana being with any other boy that age in the show. Yeah, so I feel like there's a lot more, but that's like generally first thoughts. It was a good episode. Again, I do feel like it was a transition episode. Like I feel like it's just starting to set up the rest of the episodes and they kind of needed to go through this episode to get to the rest of the episodes. So I'm excited to see what comes next. Um, again, the reason I do these is comments. So comment down below, 
comments, questions, concerns, anything that you feel so inclined to. And again, my Patreon will be linked in the description down below. So if you would like to watch unedited, full watch along episodes of Anne with an E with me, see every second of my reaction to every one of these episodes, that will be linked down below. So check that out if you are so inclined. And I will see you for Anne with an E season three, episode six. Bye!